Good morning and happy Sunday, September 27th. It is a screaming love day because Sunday is love day. It's the first day of the week, divides by three, and it's the 27th day of the ninth month, so pure love. Um, I love God's perfection, okay? Um, when people lose sight of God, they lose sight of perfection. And that's why there's no hope for the nation or people group in general that has lost sight of God, okay? So, just quickly, okay, in order to set the diet, my goodness, I just, <laughs> I hear this so often, I see it everywhere. Uh, let's just quickly, here's what I'm doing. One more time. Gluten-free, dairy-free, cocoa-centric. That's basically it. And then everything else that's natural, hit the spot eating, done. I just keep running into person after person that is suffering because of poor diet. Anyways, seek God. He'll tell you what to do. It's not that hard, okay? That's basically the answer for everything in everyone's life. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> seek God like crazy. He'll tell you what to do. And... Um, <clears throat> He'll clean up your life and convict you and all that stuff. Um, praise God. But people have to do it for themselves. I just, I, I just can't believe how obviously suffering or struggling many people are. I just see ill behavior everywhere. And it's just a result of people not being individual, passionate about their relationship with God. That's it. Okay. So, oh man, praise God. So... Okay, beautiful, perfect weather again. Okay, um, it is a screaming love day. Okay, the Lord already told me that. It's Sunday, which equals love day, the first day of the week. Love comes first. Everything divides by three, the number of love. It's the 27th day of the ninth month. That is extra rare. Okay, so there's just going to be strong threes today, strong messages of love from God. Okay. I've already had my cocoa first for breakfast, okay? Um, you can tell it, uh, well, I'm on a hike, but it does get your breath going, a little bit extra, and all the other things, but um, God food first for breakfast, okay? So that you feel the love inside of you. Um, oh yeah, I was just amazed at how much God was speaking to me about roots. <laughs> you know, through every parable of Jesus, he just seed this, seed that, roots this, roots that, trees, trees. You're just like, okay. So once again, the most important part to your body, you're like a tree is your roots. Okay, how do you bless that? What's the heavenly fertilizer class? Cocoa powder with water. Theobromacacao, God food. That's what blesses your roots the most. And that's what makes you the happiest, healthiest tree every day for a long life on the inside. That's it, okay? That's it, look. There's even cocoa cones everywhere around the roots of these trees to remind me what the cat's meow is. I've preached on this so many times. The Lord has talked to me so many times about cocoa powder as the cat's meow. I'm just saying it again, okay? Because it's something you do for a life. Oh, look. Okay, it's um, a little re revelation. Routley Park has the L-Y in symmetry, which is cocoa. And I've had so many words from the Lord that have that, okay? R-S. Um, yeah, I love you too, God. There it is. I love you too, God, quadruple joy. But we have the rejoice message. Pure white O. Have you noticed how consistent God is? Jesus Christ the same is triple Jesus. That's six-fold cocoa. It's like there actually is a food that you can eat all the days of your life that glorifies God and makes you supremely happy and the best tree in the universe, okay? Um, amazing, okay? So there it is. Thank you, Lord. There's the rejoice message already. Every day is a party with God. You just need, how to, you just need to know how to do it properly, okay? Um, 
So it's called perfect holiness, perfect diet, perfect mind. And the joy of God is maximum through your whole being day and night, okay? So I've had my God food. I'm strictly gluten-free and dairy-free. And that protects me from all trash and all downers. And I also don't touch any alcohol. I don't need it. I don't crave it. I don't want it, okay? I, I have no downers in my life, period. Nothing but happiness, <laughs> okay? Um, wow, no caffeine. So there you go. Beautiful day, okay? There's the rejoice message, the great white O. Rejoice equals delight equals white. And yes, I'm wearing all white underneath this jacket, as I should be. Um, yeah, no perfect weather again, okay? The rejoice weather is a want. But why does the weather feel so good for me? Remember, I'm a walking tree, like Jesus said. Why does the weather feel so good for me? And why am I the happiest tree on the planet? Because I have the best roots. How do I have the best roots? Because I drink my cocoa powder. Ah, the heavenly fertilizer that's internationally called God food. That's it. That's why everything is beautiful and pleasurable to me. Because I have the best roots of any tree on the planet. That's it. Okay, so um, all around me there's trees great and small, okay? Some with bigger roots than others. Well, I have the biggest, best roots of anyone on the planet because I drink abundant God food, the heavenly fertilizer, okay? So that's the secret, okay? Remember, the cocoa equals secret. I could go on for out, just thousands of hours on revelations about cocoa and how it is the cat's meow. Funny story, I was actually walking with my brother up the trail that we can call Mount Baker Trail because in Langley here, it actually gives you the best view of Mount Baker when it's visible. Um, and uh, I, I will not lie, in the middle of that trail, as we were, um, you know, three quarters of the way up, there's a black lone cat sitting in the middle of the path just as glaring as could be, okay? And it lets out one strong meow as we walk alone just up the hike. And <laughs> it was the Lord speaking, okay? <laughs> and it was funny, okay? Because I've been calling Coco the cat's meow for a long time. The cat's meow is a phrase that means it's the very best thing there is. It's the very best thing that you can shove in your mouth for your health and happiness, okay? So God has a sense of humor, and he actually ordained a cat to be in the path of my brother and I. And yes, I had God food in my veins, so I'm in paradise while I'm doing the hike, okay? And, uh, you know, the lone cat that goes, meow! I'm like, there it is. God's God speaking. He said, yes, congratulations, Coco is the cat's meow. You're doing a hike on Mount Baker Path, Mount Coco, and here's a cat that's giving you the cat's meow reminder. That's it. You have to have the Holy Spirit, and then life is funny. Because everything that God ordains in your day is a message with all sorts of layers and all sorts of funny interpretations and all sorts of data behind it that when you hear from the Holy Spirit why that happened and, and what it was actually saying, um, it's, it's just plain amazing how God uses everything to communicate to you, okay? So he's always speaking through the weather, rejoice is always the message, okay? There's the great white O right on time, okay? Um, so it's your day today, okay? You don't have to live um, in darkness or misery. You don't have to put on a black police uniform anymore. God says you're allowed to wear all white. And this applies to anyone that's currently stuck in a job that says they're not allowed to wear all white. It's actually a word from the Lord. You're allowed to not show up because God wants freedom for everyone. And wearing all white is the sign of joy and victory. Um, and everyone's wearing all white in heaven. So, there you go. Um, beautiful love day, man. But that's what God wants, freedom and maximum joy for everyone. And the Lord said to me, if anyone is working at a job that disallows them to wear all white for their job, he says they're allowed to immediately quit, never show up again. He says, I'll bless them and take their life higher if they do so. That's it. That's what the Lord said to me. Because everyone in heaven is wearing white, Jesus wearing all white, okay? It's a symbol of victory um, over the devil. And God says every human for all time 
is allowed to wear all white every single day. And if they are currently at a job that says you can't wear all white on the job, God says, leave. Leave. God is inviting you. Remember, God is always inviting you into a blessing. He's always inviting you into a higher joy. He's never whipping you like a, a bad dad. No, that's not who God is. He's inviting you out of a stupid job that doesn't respect you properly and doesn't give you the joy that you crave and doesn't truly give you the life that you dream of, you know? And it certainly doesn't give you the dignity that you that you deserve as a human, as a child of God. Every human being for all time is allowed to wear all white clothing every single day. So I'm here to tell you the word of the Lord. If you're currently at a job that disallows you to wear all white today, the word of the Lord to you is this, quit the job. Quit the job. If they won't let you show up with all white, he says, quit the job permanently. You can tell them why if you want to, or you don't have to. Just don't show up, and God's going to give you a better life. He will. He will. <laughs> and guess what? You'll be allowed to wear all white every day, because that glorifies God. Trust me, God wants to take you higher. He wants to lift you above just a miserable life, and just, you know? Okay, so... I love words from God. They just, I love simple words from God. They just set everyone free. It's very simple. It's a very simple command. If you're currently at a job that doesn't allow you to wear all white, quit. Quit. And wear all white today. Pray to God. Ask him what he wants you to do with your life. And he'll let you know. That's it. You just obey. Okay? And God will honor your obedience and your faith. So there's the all-white sun telling everyone to rejoice every single day. Okay. Um, wow. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, but again, if you don't have uh, the dream diet, okay, um, and a sin-free life, then you're not going to feel the elation that I feel all the time. Okay. You notice it's just... Um, Okay, that's enough, enough there. All right, it's a beautiful love day. There you go. So, um, Sunday, it's love day, but it is actually sunny out. Even the word sunny is pure threes, pure love. Um, it's the 27th of the ninth month, though, month. I'm gonna be screaming love today. So I gotta get my fill, I'm so excited. Um, praise the Lord, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs>